Hey guys, so we're gonna go ahead and grab Urban Decay's potion or primer potion in the color Sin and just put that all over the eyes. And just so you guys know, a little goes a long way. As you guys can tell, I overly did it. And then we're just gonna blend that all in so the beautiful eyeshadows just go together with your eyeballs. So we're gonna get the BH Hollywood palette I'm going to grab that blush color in brown and we're going to use that as our transition color to blend those beautiful colors together and I'm actually using a BH Cosmetics blending brush just so you guys know and this is one of my favorite brushes ever. It blends all your eyeshadows together and very smoothly of course. So just blend, blend, blend and we're going to use this white eyeshadow on your brow bone to make that highlight look under the brow and make those eyeshadows pop. And then we're just gonna use the purple color in the palette and we're gonna go ahead and use that uh, same BH Cosmetics blending brush but I actually have more than one so you can go ahead and use the same one or use a different one. So all I'm going to do is just use that purple on the crease, like above the uh, brow bone, under the brow bone, sorry, and just blend, blend, blend that purple color as light as you can. And all you're going to do is blend. Then we're going to grab that blue color. It's kind of more of the kind of more of a matte color. We're gonna use this E35 Sigma blending brush, of course, and we're gonna use that right on the inner corner, not the inner corner, sorry, the crease, that little corner, and we're just gonna go ahead and put that blue right in there and just focus it on getting it darker and just blending it out with the purple and just blend, blend, blend. What we wanna do is basically kinda do it more like of a smoky blue. Um, just pack that blue on and all you're gonna do is just blend that blue out. Then we're gonna grab this green lime color and we're gonna put it all over the lid. So we're gonna use this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. It's one of my favorite brushes ever. It packs on that eyeshadow really, really good. So we're just gonna focus on adding that lime color on the lid as bright as you can. As you guys can see, I'm packing that baby on. And then I'm actually going back in with that blue just to intensify it more and just make it brighter and make that blue just stand out of your eyeballs. And then back to our palette, we're gonna go ahead and use that purple color once again and just blend that purple and blue together and make that purple pop a little bit more. So all I'm doing here again is just making that blue stand out, kind of make it more of a blue smoky eye type of look because what we're going for here is just making that blue pop and making it smoky and all I'm doing is just blending the colors together. And then we're gonna grab the blue and the purple and mix those two, two, two colors together, sorry, and just put, the, put that on your bottom lash line and just blending those out. Now we're going to take the tape off and just blend that line out because I don't like it too precise.
Now that I finished my eye look, you want to clean up the bottom of your eyeballs because there will be fallout from eyeshadow and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and just go ahead and clean up your under eye and plus my black circles. And then you want to grab any beauty blender that you have and just go ahead and damp it, wet it a little bit, and then just start you know, cleaning up the area of your eyeball. I light a little bit of my eyeball and I'm going to use the NYX uh, HD Photogenic Concealer in the color Light Pale. Some of that here. Not too much because I already have too much going on on my eyes. I don't want to highlight too, too much. I thought this was a pretty fun tutorial because I have not done any bright colored looks. So I decided to do something different. So, okay, once you have that, you want to set your concealer, any type of translucent powder. In my case, I will be using NYC's translucent powder. So I'm gonna zoom you guys out, Ooh, just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Real Techniques brush. It's a regular buffing brush, and I'm just gonna grab some and tap off the axis, and then just Put it under your concealer so it does not crease at all. So you want that nice concealer look at the bottom of your eyeballs. And there it is there. You're going to be using some false lashes like I did on this side. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of mascara on because I am going to be adding some falsy lash, falsy, some false lashes and I want my real ones to go and match with the falsies. So I'm just going to put a little Lean Rocket Volume Express Dell 110s, which look like this, very natural looking just because we have so much going on on the eyes that I don't want to use any dramatic lashes. Duo. Until it gets tacky. Some tweezers just so you can hold your lashes and put them in right. So we're gonna go ahead and put them on. You want to get close, very close to the lash line. I don't know if the camera will catch it, but just get very close to the lash line. Let the glue set for a little bit, and then we're going to put some more mascara on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and curl the lashes with just a lash curler, and let's just curl these babies. There you go. They're nice and curled, and they look nice and natural. The more close you get to your real lashes, the less visible you'll be able to see the band and it will look like your real lashes. Black liner and this is an NYC Jet Black and it just looks like that. It's just a pencil and then I'm just going to underline, let me see if I can zoom in, just underline the bottom. Liner and I'm using Physicians Formula in Ultra Black. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop here because I take forever to do my eyeliner. So I will be back.